whether at work or in extreme sports, without the right protection in the right place, you're putting your health and your life at risk. However, a lot of protection is rigid and uncomfortable. And in sports especially, that's a big disadvantage. These two inventors not only seem to be wearing the right body protection, they also have complete freedom of movement in spite of it. The material protecting them is called D3O. It's impact resistant, yet flexible. D3O is somewhat magical material. It's soft and flexible, so it can move with you and match your body shape but instantaneously on impact, it locks together to protect you. A padding that is soft and flexible in its normal state, but instantly stiffens during impacts or collisions. An amazing invention. And it almost didn't happen. The key ingredient for really having a successful invention is perseverance. But you could exchange the word perseverance for belief. In the late 1990s, Philip Green was a lecturer at the University of Hertfordshire, north of London, and Richard Palmer was working with him as a consultant. Outside working hours, however, they experimented enthusiastically with all kinds of different materials, mostly at home in their own kitchen. They became especially fascinated by so-called dilatant fluids. These have the property of being soft when they're stirred slowly, yet becoming rock hard when exposed to any rapid impact or collision. Our base material has actually been around for a very long time and, amazingly, never really found an application commercially apart from children's toys. Normal liquids, like water here, are really bad at absorbing shocks. Any object that hits them is only slowed down very slightly. That also applies to viscous liquids, like honey, although they are a bit more effective. With dilatant liquids, here we see a mixture of water and cornstarch, things are very different. The ball even bounces back slightly. It's only when the material relaxes again and softens that the ball actually sinks. This property makes dilatant liquids the perfect protective material. The only problem is that they're too fluid. We were struggling with how we can utilize this magic liquid material and keep it in the places where we need to keep it. The dilatant liquid the researchers work with isn't cornstarch dissolved in water, of course. They use a liquid which is already relatively viscous. Still too liquid, however, to be incorporated into protectors. Surprisingly, to give the material a stable shape, the researchers began by using a solvent to make it even more liquid. The reason is that in this state, it can be drizzled over a kind of plastic sponge, which absorbs the material. The sponge is then baked in the oven. The heat makes the solvent evaporate again, and the orange liquid forms layers deep inside the pores of the sponge. The idea behind the whole procedure is for the sponge to give the dilatant material a solid structure. And once it's cooled down, for it to assume the material's magical property. That is, to be soft in response to gentle pressure and suddenly hard during collisions. And the idea actually works. But then it turned out that a company from Japan had already filed a patent for exactly this solution. What a setback. It was a horrible moment. That was a whole year wasted looking at impregnated foams. We did a lot of testing. They were good, but we just simply couldn't use them. And that just required us to really frantically go back to the drawing board, go back to the ideas bench and start to say, wow, you know, we've got so much commitment. We've come down so far. We can't just give up now. We have to, we have to find another way around this. Palmer and Green didn't give up. Instead of pouring their dilatant liquid into an existing open cell foam, 
they now tried to dissolve the dilatant liquid into one of the liquid precursors of polyurethane foam. We broke so many mixers and worked so many, you know, different compositions to try and find a way of getting these materials to actually combine so that we can create this composite that contains our magic ingredient. They needed a stable blend of precursor and dilatant liquid, which could then be reacted to form a completely new material. Day and night, for three weeks, the inventors worked feverishly on this idea, and... Wow. Lo and behold, their plan worked. They'd created a stable padding that was flexible and yet instantaneously stiffer on impact. And now we finally had it in our hands. We refiled the patent, raised funding based upon the patent and the product, and started a successful business journey. The inventors founded D3O, and the company continues to develop their invention as a successful business. D3O materials can be found in protection used worldwide by soldiers, professional athletes and workers, as well as in everyday products. It's only when you come to something where everyone else has stopped and they, no one's tried to get around it or it's not easy to get around, that's where real innovation and real inventions can be found at the dead ends. It was perseverance that made this invention possible. And, of course, a certain degree of fearlessness.